Hello everyone, this is Anushka Devtale from Class 7G. Today I'm going to tell you about National Rewarming Day. National Rewarming Day is celebrated every year on 10th of February in order to create the awareness among the children of 1 to 19 year age group about the harmful effects of worm infection. The day is observed to deworm all the students including Anganwadis by distributing the deworming tablets and running hygiene and health campaign. Worm infection can cause variety of problems in children like anemia, malnourishment which ultimately hamper the physical health of a child and development of a child. National Rewarming Day was observed by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in year 2015. The program aims to highlight the problems of a kid due to worms in India. The day is celebrated by teaching children good hygienic habits in order to protect themselves from worm infection. This is a campaign run by a government for prevention and cure. The National Deworming Day is effective government policy to deworm over 150 million children nationwide. The deworming improves overall children's immunity system and overall health there by protecting themselves from the disease that can cause by worm. India has the highest number of children around 220 million who are at the great risk of getting infected by the worms. According to the health, government health and family survey. So on National Deworming Day, government distribute albendazole tablets of 400 mg chewable albendazole tablets to all the school including anganwadis worms which can make children anemic and malnourished we can easily be killed by albendazole tablet thank you for your patience listening this speech was read by Anushka Devtale of Class 7G. Thanks. The strength of the team is each individual member. And the strength of each individual member is the team. Hello viewers. Welcome to our new episode of Enriched Life with Physical Education and Sports. This is Vidya Nair, PTI, MGM Senior Secondary School, Sector 6, Bilai. Today, in this episode of Volleyball, I'll be telling you some of the basic and important rules of volleyball so that whenever you watch a volleyball match or you play a volleyball game you will be able to understand the referee's decisions if you are not knowing the rules of the game it can be a frustrating experience if you are a player a coach or just a fan sometimes while playing a match, you don't understand why the referee blows the whistle and you look confused towards the referee. So, to avoid this situation of confusion, here is my video about the basic rules of volleyball. But before getting into the rules and regulations of volleyball, I will be telling you some important information about my game. So, I will be starting with the measurement of the volleyball court 
and then I'll be dealing with some information about the volleyball. So this is a volleyball court. As we can see, the playing court is 80 meters in length and 9 meters in width. This line is called center line and these two lines are attack line. Attack line is 3 meters away on both the sides from the center line. These two lines are called as side lines and this and this line is called end lines. So this is our volleyball court. Now let's talk about the height of the net. The height of the net differs from men to women. For men's, the net height is 2.43 meters and the height of the net for women is 2.24 meters from the ground. Now let's talk about the volleyball. The diameter of volleyball is between 20.7 to 21.3 centimeters and the circumference of volleyball is 65 to 67 centimeters and the weight of the volleyball is between can be between 262 to 80 grams so this was about the measurement of the coat, the height of the net and about the volume. Now I'll be telling you how are matches conducted. Usually the standard way to conduct a volleyball match is a best of five six. But in local tournaments or in uh, small school, small tournaments the match is conducted as best of three sets also now what is best of five sets and what is best of three sets best of five sets five set ka ek match hota hai jisme agar Koi bhi ek team continuously team set jeet jati hai to us team ko winner declare kar diya jata hai but agar best of 5 sets hai dono team hai do do set jeetti hai to fir fifth set conduct karwana hota hai jo sets hote hai Set 1, set 2, set 3 and set 4 होते हैं 25 points के and जो 5th set होता है उसे हम कहते हैं deciding set जो की होता है 15 points हम अगर दोनों team के बीच में tie है जैसे दोनों team में दो दो set जीत लिया है तो 5th set होगा 15 points है जिसमें decide होगा कि कौन सी team winner है likewise बेस्ट ऑफ थ्री सेट्स में अगर कोई भी टीम कंटिन्यूअसली दो सेट जीत जाती है तो देयर इज नो यूज और देयर इज नो नीड टू कंडक्ट द थर्ड सेट बट अगर दोनों टीम्स एक एक सेट जीती हुई होती है तो थर्ड सेट करवाना होता है जिसमें भी पता चलेगा जो टीम थर्ड सेट जीतेगी दैट टीम विल बी डिक्लेयर्ड एज विनर इसमें भी फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड सेट होता है 25 पॉइंट्स का एंड द थर्ड सेट इज ऑफ 15 पॉइंट्स द थर्ड सेट हियर इज कॉल्ड एज डिसाइडिंग सेट सो ये हुआ कि हमने मैच कैसे 
कट आया किस तरीके से हम मैच करवा सकते हैं बेस्ट ऑफ थ्री सेट्स करवा सकते हैं बट स्टैंडर्ड जो है वो है बेस्ट ऑफ फाइव सेट्स नाउ लेट मी टेल यू सम प्रोसीजर्स बिफोर कंडक्टिंग द मैच बिफोर कंडक्टिंग द मैच द फर्स्ट रेफरी कॉल्स द कैप्टन ऑफ बोथ द टीम्स एंड कंडक्ट द टॉस the captain who wins the toss he or she has the option to choose either any side of the court or he can decide whether his team will serve or receive the ball and then starts the match with the service now let me tell you some of the fouls related to service if you serve the ball in underarm or side arm serve without tossing the ball it will be considered as foul if you touch the end line before doing a service before hitting the ball then this will also be called as foul if after tossing of the ball you hold the ball for any reason that will also be considered as a foul and after serving if your ball goes into the net and does not reach opponent's court then one point for this will be given to the opponent team in every foul you do one point will be given to the opponent team the other rules are you cannot hit the ball twice in succession that is if you hit the ball continuously more than once then this will be considered as a foul it is considered as a foul if you catch throw or hold the ball in between the rally the front zone players can switch their positions at the net after the service touching the net with any of your body part is considered as a foul if the ball is in play but there is an exception to this rule if the ball is given into the net with such a force that it causes the opponent player to get in contact with the net then it will not be called as a foul and the ball shall continue to be in play the maximum of 3 hits can be done from each side or from each team if it becomes more than 3 touches or hits it will be considered as foul crossing the center line with your foot or feet is considered as a foul for this also one point is given to the opponent team libro cannot participate in individual or collective block neither is a libro allowed to do a serve but a libro can replace any players from the back row position or we can say that a libro can replace any player a back row play so these were some of 
the basic rules of volleyball which will definitely help you whether you play a volleyball match or watch any game for more such information about volleyball stay tuned to our channel till then stay fit and take care of yourself